Hi everyone, I am Devoshmita from Two Busy Bums. In our channel, we make all the cloth diapering related videos. If you are new to our channel, make sure you subscribe before you go and follow us on our social media. In today's video, I'll be talking about the snappies. So I'll just basically tell you how to use the snappies and here I have two different sizes of snappies so I have a size 1 and size 2 I also have Neil with me he's almost five years old and I'm going to use some of the flaps on him with the uh, snappies so that way you can see how to use the snappies exactly and how the size 1 and 2 works so let's just go ahead and check it out and he is big boy he doesn't wear diaper anymore so we'll see how much he cooperates with here you can see all the snappies that I have and this eight colors are in size one and this two are in size two so in my shop currently I only have this colors available so this eight in size one those two in the taller size or the size two and this is the I mean two busy bum is the only stockist of the original snappy size 2 in India you will not find them anywhere else size 1 you might find them but we have the original snappies and the way to know is here you can see they have the snappy written let me just see you can see here so that's how you know they are the original snappy here they are out even if they're not in shape they will work just fine so you know first you need to prep your snappy when you get them the first time so basically the snappy will come to you like this but they might not be like you know as stretchy when you get them so what you need to do when you get them is hold these parts and like you know give them some pulls for three to four times so basically just stretch it out a little bit make sure you are not pulling them too hard so that they break but just a little pull is enough so like three to four times here three to four times here is just enough to get this started as you can see this is like brand new and it's not it's slowly trying to i mean starting to stretch more than it did before i'll show you another one so first it's not stretching more than this but every time i'm pulling you can see eventually it's starting to stretch more so this is how you're gonna prep your snappy and now i have a flat on that side and i have kneel right here so i'm going to get this one flat into our origami shape and then i'll go ahead and put it on him use the snappies and i'll show you how the size one and size two works on my toddler this is a one size hand dyed flat it's a french terry flat and they are available in the two busy worms website and i use it personally on my boys basically mostly i use it on for night time and in origami fold with another booster on my two and a half years old and one size fits him fine so this is how i just origami fold it regularly for my two and a half year old but now we are gonna use it on my five year old so i think his he might need a longer rise because the one size flats rise might not be enough for him because he's big boy now so what i'm going to do is increase the rise a little bit by doing this so we are just going to do a demo on him so he doesn't need all the absorbency i'm not going to add any booster on him i'm not going to you know uh, use a bigger flat just use this so instead of when you do a regular origami you want to do like this evenly folded if you have a square so to increase the rise i'm going to make this one a little longer than the other one that way the rise i will get is this so now i'm going to pull that one out and you know even it out this way now we have to just turn it the other way and this way now when you need to put more absorbance in the front side you can always fold this down and then fold this so this is what we are going to do i'm just going to keep this little white for him as well so just keep it in this way 
and put it on him we are just going to you can pinch and put you can do the good key method i'm just going to go ahead and get him then i will just show you how to put a flat diaper with the snappies on the baby so here we have neil and as i said he's five year old he's a little shy he i mean i think he should be fine and right now he's laying down on top of the diaper so did a origami fold toddler i mean toddler fold you can say and i have him so i'll just try to fold his undie a little bit i think he's okay with that are you okay with that you are okay thank you so i'm just going to do a little undie with that i mean fold that leg out so that it doesn't stick out too much from the diaper now i'm going to just put the diaper on him first and use a snappy size one so let me just use this which color you like the blue okay so we are going to use the blue on him and this is the size one so again as this is new just gonna get this prepped this side and this side a little bit now we are gonna use the color blue so let me just keep it in here first <coughs> we are going to put this diaper under them with the level of the belly button then pull the front out so there is one way you can pinch it then pull it so pull it up till almost the navel and he's a big boy he needs a big diaper so just put it in there now it's a bit like this okay now you can you know just pull this and then when you go up you fold it and go up fold it and go up now when you come up here so all you want to do is you know keep it nice and snug and don't let this tension go so that the leg hole is nice and snug so just gonna keep this here do the same thing with the other side so you know nice and snug nice and snug pull it nice and tight and then there is a lot of way that you can do with the wing you can either tuck it down so in this way you know if you're putting a cover on top of it like a pul cover or a cover that's like a snug fit cover then you don't always have to use snappy so if you are using an origami fold you have long enough wings to you know tuck under one another with the nice tension so that way you don't have to always use a snappy when using a cover and you can see there is a good leg seal like really good leg seal my finger will go but the poop will not come out so this is very important to have the good key leg seal method when you are using it on a smaller baby who still poops in the diaper so we are gonna put this like this if you are using a tight or like a snug fitting cover on top but if you're using a wool on top i will say using a pin or a snappy is a better idea because when you are using a wool pen it might not be as snug because they have elasticity on them and when the baby moves it might just get undone because with the pure well you know it's it doesn't move much so it doesn't open but with the wool it might open so using a snappy will be a good idea now the things that you can do with the wings you can either tuck it you can let it be like a little bigger a lot of people i have seen they like to fold like this and that way what happens is like there is just tiny little bit more absorbance in the front for the boys and do it like this because when you're putting the snappy you're gonna put one here one here so the wing will be on your way if you're not folding it or tucking it i personally like tucking it most of the times and sometimes you know it depends i can fold it too but i personally like to just tuck it because my hands will be free i can grab the snappy and put it on him and so this is how i'm going to do it right now so when you have the snappy for me the snappy is like right left down i know a lot of people use them a lot different ways so for me personally i like to put the side one side first now just because underneath i have more layers i am not worried and this fabric is pretty thick and getting more than 
you know one layer is not always possible so i'm pretty confident about just going ahead and putting it if you have any thin fabric like cotton sometimes like flower sack towels or bird eye cotton flats you always want to make sure you are putting only one fabric on top and then putting the snappy in there making sure that it's not going under that so that the baby gets cut on their skin so you always want to poke only the top layer unless there is a lot layers under you might want to be using two layers but using one layer is just fine so we want to put one layer pull it and then we are gonna do the other side so one two right left and I mean right of the baby left of the baby and then you want to pull it down and make a Y so this is how it looks like so I first put one side then the other then the down you know if you're lefty you are more than welcome to use left side first right side then down whatever works best for you I personally find putting the sides first and then down gives a better tension but if you find doing it any other way you can just do it all we need to do make sure the tension of the diaper is nice and snug that way you know he still have nice pole on this side nothing is going loose the this wing i fold it and then pull it little down so it's under here if it is too much on top side once baby starts to walk be naughty you know it might come like this so just folding it is not enough in my opinion pulling it in this will be a little helpful for you the diaper might not hang out from the baby too fast and when you do put the snappy snug the leg will be nice and snug for a longer time so as you can see this is still fine on him being a size one you can still use it on a toddler baby there's no problem in it so i'm going to put the size two on him and now you can see it covers a little more area okay so i forgot to prep it but it still goes fine so now the size two covers a longer area on the baby so some babies or some folds actually works better with the size two so now what i'm going to do is do a kite fold so in that kite fold let me get that so in the kite fold you will see how the size one and size two makes a bigger difference just do a quick kite fold might not be perfect because i have him here i want to keep a wider vest so that it covers him better so just do like this pull this this kind of like a kite it looks like so now this one is what gonna adjust the rise i'm hoping this will be just fine on him and i'm going to hold this one over then fold this one over. Now put it on him. Get your legs up a bit. That one. Okay. So we just put the diaper under him. Now all we have to do is pull the front part up again you're gonna pinch and then pull the front part up then you're gonna spread this area a little bit with the kite fold that's what we do you can just pinch it put it from there but then you're gonna make the this top part wide i mean at least that's what i like to do that way i get a trimmer crotch now we are going to pull this side Put it on him so right now we are going to use the size one which will be just fine in here so the size one still fits him now if your wings were not big enough so I know he's gonna need a bigger wing so I did hold it as a bigger wing now if you are using let's say a pre-fold 
or maybe a pre-flat specifically because pre-flats you know it has wings which might not be big enough for your toddler sometimes because something that's working pretty good on your infant might not work that well on your big toddler so we are going to just fold it out put it under baby and pinch this part put it on him spread this out now the wing that i have is pretty small and pretty smaller than before you know size one will still work fine on it but just in case if you have a diaper that has even smaller wings size two might just work better on it so diaper folds which have shorter wings for a bigger baby size 2 will just work a little better i hope this video was helpful for you and you learn how to use a snappy so basically you get a new snappy you want to prep them by pulling them gently a few times then use it on the baby so just go one side the another side and pull the bottom side and that's why you create a Y. You always want to keep the tension nice and snug so your diaper is nice and snug. And a snug spitting diaper avoids all the poopy leak and pee leak from the diaper. So if you have any other question, feel free to comment below the video. Or you can always message me in the page 2 Busy Bums on Facebook or in Instagram. Those are our social media. Please don't forget to follow us in there for all the updates of the shop, all the new things we get there. And our shop is www.2busybums.com. You will find the snappies in there. You will find lots and lots of flats and pre-flats in there. As I said, if you have any questions, feel free to comment under this video or leave me a message, do an email message me from the website whatever is easier for you until next time love your babies